Welcome back to America Trends. I'm Amy Fuller. Iran has been taunting countries around the world for, well, for years, but for the past few weeks especially, uh, doing some tit for tat with the United States of America, promising to enrich and make bombs that surpass what they're supposed to be doing regarding how much uh, uranium enrichment they can be doing. In the past 24 hours, um, they allegedly tried to grab a British oil tanker, at least one, and uh, Tehran is uh, denying that right now. But we are so pleased to welcome back Barry Nussbaum of the American Truth Project, who keeps us up to date on, on so many of these things. Barry, welcome back. Thanks, Amy. Great to be with you, as usual. Uh, founder of the American Truth Project. And Barry, how can people find you? Let's talk about that and then get back to Iran. Super simple. Findbarry.com jumps you right to americantruthproject.org. People don't have to worry about spelling all those words. Find. <laughs> Barry.com. You'll go to our website. You can sign up for free. You'll get all of our mailings that come out two to three times a week. It's always free. We never charge, and we're spreading the truth about how to protect America. Really appreciate your site. It is it is interesting to go to. Um, Barry, what ha what happened with this British oil tanker? What what do we know for sure, and what are people alleging? Well, what we know for sure is uh, several weeks ago. Uh, an Iranian oil tanker was bound for Syria with what is a violation of the UN embargo on the exportation of petroleum products out of Iran. This is the UN now. And member states that patrol in that area are obligated to enforce that embargo. Uh, the British commandos uh, grabbed uh, the tanker and impounded it, and Iran threatened to declare war on Britain over it. Uh, and instead of declaring war, uh, yesterday, late yesterday, uh, apparently they tried with their commandos, a bunch of gunships, surrounded a British tanker and tried to seize it on the high seas in the, uh, I, I believe it was the um, Strait Persian of Hormuz. Yeah. At, yeah. Yeah. Right at the Straits, where it, which is the narrow choke point mm -hmm. where the uh, Persian Gulf empties out in the south, and a British destroyer was following the tanker, <laughs> pointed their guns at the gunboats, said back off, and the gunboats ran away. <laughs> so Iran is certainly completely not backing down. These are all warlike moves tantamount to a declaration of war, and every week it's getting worse, it's getting scary, and the guns are out. Jeez. Jeez. So, so what's going to be happening, Barry? I know that that. Uh, President Trump and, and our military has, has have made their stand. Do you think the UK and obviously the USA are, are chatting about what should we be doing about this? There's got to be some diplomatic negotiations going on and how we both can handle them. Or is everyone just trying to, to stiffen their spine right now and um, and get Iran to back off? And this guy, um, I mean, Iran really is. They just it seems like every couple of days there's a new way they're trying to, quote, jump bad with us. Well, you're 100 percent right. It's literally uh, half a dozen different war-like, if not war-ish, actions. Uh, keep in mind, they had their proxy uh, Houthi rebel army fire missiles into the uh, commercial airport in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. They've blown up a couple of oil um, processing plants in Saudi Arabia. They shot down an American drone. Um, they have literally uh, buzzed our ships and our planes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, now they've uh, gone after a British tanker. They have said they will declare war on the United States and Great Britain. Uh, they are not backing down. Uh, what's really curious as of this point, Amy, is all of these actions I've told you, if they were done against, say, Russian shipping or Chinese shipping, Tehran would be in flames already. Uh, these moves by Iran are so blatantly warlike and in violation of international law. Uh, the restraint the United States is showing under President Trump is extraordinary. And after the drone was shot down, the story out of the White House, according to Trump, is they were within seconds of launching a huge retaliatory military strike on Iran. Don't forget, it's not in dispute that Iran shot down our hundred plus million dollar drone they're bragging about it yeah, this and saying they're going to shoot ago, down right Barry yeah they, just they're another gonna thing street. they did yeah yeah I mean if this was if they shot down a Russian plane 
you wouldn't recognize Tehran already. Uh, mm -hmm. Trump's restraint has been, like I said, uh, something that nobody expected. Um, he is being very, very cautious, and as of now, has said that the response will be tighter and tighter and tighter sanctions. Meanwhile, <laughs> get this, in the last couple of days, um, the IAEA, which is the uh, International Atomic Energy uh, Agency for inspections of the UN, has found nuclear material in a warehouse that Israel uh, had uncovered when they raided that uh, warehouse in Tehran uh, a year and a half ago. So the evidence is mounting, and Iran is literally saying, as you said earlier, they are going to enrich uranium until they make bombs, and it's not a secret. So they got $150 billion out of Barack Obama <laughs> in exchange for not doing anything but promising a bunch of stuff, and they breached the promises. They've been building ballistic missiles. They've been enhancing uranium, and now they said the deal's off. They're going to do whatever they want. And don't count on them returning that money. <laughs> uh, yeah, all I, you know, and all eyes around the world are on this because the Strait of Hormuz is very critical. Uh, it's a shipping channel between the Persian Gulf and the Gulf of Oman, um, the, the area where several HUD profile events that we've been talking about have happened in the past few weeks. It's where oil goes through. It means gasoline. So world leaders are looking at it. If you at home are wondering, what do I care about Iran? Well, a million reasons, really. But also uh, gas prices, et cetera, and our access to it. And just general, hey, they might be uh, trying to nuke people. Uh, so, so what else, Barry? Um, there's so much news coming out of Iran. Uh, and I know you're following all of it. I can see it on your site and on your social media posts. Yeah, the, the sanctions that, that uh, Trump and the Treasury Department under Mnuchin have put in place are the strongest in world history. And according to uh, tweets from the White House in the last few days, they're going to ratchet those up even stronger. At some point, and nobody knows what that point is, Amy, Iran becomes 100% commercially and economically isolated from the world. And when that happens, you're going to see a catastrophic change from within that country.